Hello everyone, my name is Adam Piazza, the Adult Program Specialist at the Franklin Institute. Have you ever struggled to locate a friend in a crowded room? Or are surprised when you can find your favorite pen in a sea of clutter? Somehow, with all the information that floods our senses, we're able to focus on what's important and act on it. But how? Researchers have located areas in the brain that help suppress non-important and otherwise distracting information, which helps us, oh, there's my disco ball. Sorry, I was looking for that. Anyway, it helps us with selective attention. The process of focusing on a particular object in your environment for a certain period of time. These different parts of the brain work together to filter out the massive amount of information you get from your different senses. So for example, if you were looking for your friend in a busy and loud space where it's more important to pay attention to the visual inputs, part of the brain will send a signal to intercept the path carrying auditory data, allowing for the information from the eye to be the more prominent signal that makes its way to other parts of the brain to process. Researchers also found that this system doesn't just filter out one sense to heighten another, it can filter out attention within a single sense too. Let's do a test. In this video, I want you to follow the cup with the 3D printed brain hidden underneath. Are you ready? Here we go. Did you get it right? But did you also notice the third hand or that the bases of the orange cups become transparent in the middle of the test? Or what about that octopus that showed up? Your brain relies on past experiences to determine what to pay attention to, but sometimes it misses things. Luckily, research has shown that your brain sort of flickers with that selective attention, giving other stimulating information an opportunity to be recognized as what might've occurred during that video. So in a sea of information that surrounds us, do you shine a spotlight on what's important? Or do you filter out some of that clutter to help you focus? There's my pen. I wonder if there's anything else you may not have noticed during this video. I guess you might just have to watch again and see what else you may have missed. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Spark of Science at Home. My name is Adam Piazza, and I hope to see you all again soon at the Franklin Institute.